the next slide up. This is what we've been talking about the last few weeks, and then I'll end with some thoughts today. Inside of every human's 50 feet, everybody, we could go get a guy out of the desert sands and bring him and get a guy out of mid, midtown Atlanta, Buckhead, and bring him here and put them both here. Both of them are going to fulfill 50 feet. Inside every human being on this planet are four primary um, foundational things you're going to have to deal with. Environmental, relational, emotional, and spiritual. Everybody in the room. Environmental are the things we all deal with. High gas prices at the pump. Too long of a line at Walmart. Or I was at the grocery store yesterday and, and I went up into the hurry up line, which is 10 items or less. Anybody ever done the hurry up line? 10 items or less. And you're sitting there looking at your items. You only have eight. You're like, thank you, Jesus. But the guy in front of me had like 37 I counted them, 30, you got to be kidding me. You, you don't, and the big orange thing that said 10 items or less. He has so many, he pulls his buggy up to it. And I'm thinking, hey, you got, I was thinking, you got more than 10. You're cheating. <laughs> this is cheating. Go to the long line over there, buggy guy. I, I got, I'm holding mine. I just have two items, toilet paper and paper towels. That's all I've got, two items. And you look at it in your mind, that, that's what I mean by environment. Yeah. It's waking up to come to work and you got a flat tire. You got your dress shoes on. And you go to change the tire on the van. But because the tire is flat, the van is too low to the ground, you can't get the jack up under it. So you have to back the car out into the street to get the nice hump so you can get up under it. So half your van's sticking out in the street. And now your shoes are scuffed up. That was me couple of days ago. <laughs> Brand new shoes scuffed up, dirt, grease everywhere, trying to change a tire in a van. Or taking my van to get it fixed because it was overheating, picking it up, and they said, okay, it's fixed, getting halfway home on I-20, and it blows up because it overheated. Yeah. That's environment. And you can either cop an attitude, kick things, yeah. scream, drop F-bombs, point fingers at God, why do you let this happen to me? Why do you do this to me? I thought you said if I, you would. Why'd you give me that woman? And why'd you give me that man? And why don't you? And Every human deals with environmental issues. It can be high gas prices or it could just be as simple as a splinter in the middle of a jungle. But it's those things on the outside of you that begin to irritate you and dominate you and begin to literally uh, sit as captain over your 50 feet. I could not tell you statistically how many people have the environmental things around them sitting as dictator over their life. Their, their whole existence depends on how well their day went. I had a good day, I had a bad day, things went great, things went bad. And so environment is their dictator. They got a good paycheck, got a bad paycheck, got laid off, didn't get laid off, found more work, need more work, married a good woman, married whatever it would be. The next one, and what you talked about, was relational. That's everybody in the room has relationships to deal with. Uh, just watch Facebook, they change daily. Relationship statuses, handling people, people that get on your nerves and irritate you, and you don't enjoy them, and you don't like them, and people you love, and people that you adore, and people that you can't quit thinking of because you're so in love with them. It's the relational side of our 50 feet. But whether you love them or hate them, if you're not careful, people can become an idol and then people sit as dictator in your life. And you can't come to church because you're so in love or you can't come to serve God because you can't get rid of your old friends or you, you can't really have peace because you're so ticked off at your ex or... You can't really enjoy life because your father has hurt your feelings and you blame him for everything or you blame your mother. And so relationships begin to, to sit as dictator over our life. See, if I'm the enemy and I want to destroy you, I don't have to destroy you. I just need to get inside your 50 feet and figure out what I want to do to touch you, to irritate you, to make you dysfunctional. Because a dysfunctional stick figure is just as good as a dead one. If you're dysfunctional, you're just as good as dead. 
in the kingdom. Because you can't pray, you can't press in, you can't make any headway because my 50 feet got me dysfunctional. Dysfunctional. 